Hello. We're back for Velatro. It's time to do the third challenge of these 20 challenges. Oh my. Rich get richer, which I have a funny feeling is going to be something that uh, is relevant to my interests, <laughs> given given the Bellatro Bezos challenge. Uh, we're going to start with $100. Nice. Everything else looks about the same. But chips cannot exceed the current money. No band cards. Our deck is normal. But we do start with money tree and seed money. And we're at the interest cap of 100 bucks to start it off. Very interesting. So, we're going to try and complete this challenge as normal. But this might end up being a modified version of how much money can we make. Alright, so... Well, that was never going to be higher than 100. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how the challenge works, too. Also, apparently that first hand wasn't good enough, but that's okay. Alright, so 20 bucks. There we go. So if the chips can't exceed the money, then it's probably going to be tough to use something like Bull or even Square Joker to win the run. Do you want Idle? I guess I'll take Idle. I don't think we're going to use this that easily, but I'm fine to take it. We will buy this, but we can wait one. I guess this? None of these are very exciting to me, but this is all stuff that's Maybe helpful. Otherwise, this should be King of Clubs. Should be a relatively straightforward run of Bellatro, I think. Well, I guess we'll see. Because we haven't hit the... Even close to the limit yet of... The chip numbers, and I have a feeling it's like all the challenges. I feel like I say this for all of them. I feel like it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Banana seems good. Mime's good too, though. I think I'll take Mime. Mime's better in the long term. I'll take the voucher. You could take to do list. It makes money. Things that make money are good. So we'll take this too. Then we can start trying to build straight flushes. It's not easy, but it shouldn't be too hard. So we'll level up two pair again. Now I kind of regret not taking Square Joker, but it's fine. Look for some arts. Mm. Five. Oh, H two three four is a straight flush. Nice. Four bucks. And a win. Yeah, I don't look for straight flushes that often, so... I find them really challenging, but they're probably not as hard as they look. Troubadour's pretty good. I'll buy this. I'll wait on this. It's not. I'm really still trying to figure out what the downside is. But I know I know there is one. <laughs> like I'm not silly enough to, to think, oh, this challenge is just you start with a bunch of money and it's easy. Like My assumption is that I'm gonna hit a wall eventually. Like where is two pair up to? Two pair is already up to eighty times five. So we're going to be capped on how good that can be pretty quickly already. If if anything else, if nothing else, I should say, it does make planets worse. Four of a kind. Maybe. Okay, not so likely. 10, 20, 29... 
40, so that isn't going to be too many either. Didn't even look for the idol, but I don't think it matters that much. Should have played the 8 as well. Made the wrong king. I think. Oh, I could have maybe played two pair instead. Yeah. See, this is going to cap, right? Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I can see how that would be tricky. But if you get a lot of malt, it should be fine, right? I mean, that's my assumption. Oh, I do want to try and make my deck one card if possible for the idol. I already have a gold king. I don't really care what it is. Uh, did I hit the spade boss already? I think so, right? I think I hit goad already. So I guess we'll keep our spades and take out our clubs. Sure. Hopefully I'm remembering that right. Blush. What do you want now? Pear? Well, I can play pears. Don't know how much these will make, but... Okay, not very much is the answer. Wait, why am I playing these hands? Alright, maybe this will win, but I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't have any malt either, so... Okay. That was me being very greedy. And just forgetting how Bellagio works, not even the challenge. But that's okay. These flushes are not very good. Yikes. I think we have a straight though. Almost. Oh, I should put the eights. Whoops. Alright, so we need some score, like every other run of Bellatro. Planets are not enough, especially in this challenge, unless... Ooh, I feel like eights and space joker is fun as... is really fun. Guess I'll do this. Make some slightly better eights to play with. Uh, this actually seems good. I guess we'll play pair a bunch with eights, preferably. Speaking of eights. This is one in four, so we kind of need oops or sixes too. Nice. No tarot card, Sag. Doesn't really matter what order these things are in. Ooh, that's good. Sure. I feel like I seem, I've seen so many planet cards in this challenge.
I'm gonna. S nah. I was gonna skip it, but then, like, kind of what's the point, you know? Ambitious four of a kind tick. Hmm. Save that one. I guess this counts as pair, right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't really want to Ecto Jolly Joker, but everything else would be okay. I'll take the one in four. Yeah, that's good. Might be the best hit, actually. Yeah, I guess we're kind of on pair. Pair watch. I think I'd rather these be lucky. Anything else? Okay. We're getting somewhere. Maybe. Yeah, Stuntman. We basically can't use... More eights? Oh, baby, it's happening. That was a good terror pack. None of these are eights. Take the ace with the seal. I'm gonna take the five with the seal. Oh, I can take both. Even better. Even better. I can just take the money. Nice. Just looking for eight ball there. All right, we're getting somewhere. I love Space Joker. As unreliable as Space Joker is, Space Joker just makes me happy. Sixth sense? I don't think so. Judgment? Oh, I have six Joker slots. I forgot I had Ectoplasm. I think Judgment seems fine. Slosh Puck was pretty good, actually. Currently trending towards hearts, but have a pretty even amount of stuff. I think maybe just abstract joker. Just make sure we can get through. Temperance. Not bad. Nice. Should have maybe played my eights first. Truth be told. I mean, that's going to be really good, right? Six. It's already eight more. It's already more than Jolly Joker, and it's going to get better. I'm going to buy this just to clear it, but I do not like it. I don't know if that's actually strategically sound or not, but... Oh, we're making pairs, so I don't really care about... Making a bunch of spades. I think I do want to try and find more eights though. Nice. I guess eventually we'll move to four and five of a kind. I want to open these packs. I guess. 
think we're only taking eights out of them though. Or maybe blue seal. The arm. Hmm. Might have to just accept my losses. It's okay though. I don't know what I want to make glass or not. Uh, guess I can make one of these glass and then if it gets destroyed, I don't mind. Like this. Nice. Hit the one in four. Should win. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere close to the chip cap. Oh, I should have opened this first, I think. Oh, he's two. Huge. Guess I could make... Hmm, I do need to use one, actually. In that case, maybe I do this. Then I do this. Oh! Oh, no, that was good. Okay. okay. I thought I messed up for a second. Oh, spindle wheel. Could use this first as well. I'll open this just in case. Blue seal's actually pretty good. Okay. I guess I can play four of a. Oh, that's even level two. That's disappointing. Okay, I should be able to play four of a kind, five of a kind here. Okay, yeah, nice. Disaster averted. Let's make this ace a gold card. And let's make this five and eight of diamonds. Five of a kind. Nice. Take that arm. Oh yeah. Oh no, the chip cap's not even there. Oh, also we got massive eight ball value. Which was the point. Okay. Feeling good. I feel like I say that about every run, but... Is that so bad? Ooh. I don't think that's good. It's fun. Um, I think I don't want any of these. Could destroy an eight to add four numbered cards, but like none of them are potentially good. Speaking of none of them are good. Just using this. I, think I would rather than be lucky, actually. I could take Emperor instead. No luck. I guess I should use them. I'm maybe interested in the star now. I am interested in finding my two sevens if I can. Hmm. Let's hold on to my strength then. Fine leveling pair again. still kind of my main malt source. Not going to make spades or clubs, I don't think, because I have all these lucky eight of diamonds. Let's open this. 
Dang. I was hoping the strength would pop off. One of the things I've tried to get better about lately is opening packs when I have tarot cards in my hand. Because, actually, you see way more cards than you do per hand when you open a tarot pack. So it's much easier to actually apply the tarot card to the relevant card you're searching for. How many sixes do I even have? Four? I don't need the malt. I could just take six cents. It destroys a card, too. Also strength some fives. Oh, I think I wanted that. Two times malt for first hand is lone six. Right? Single six, yes. Uh, I guess I can make it a wild card and then destroy it. I just have to make one seven. Finding both sevens is going to be such a pain. It's fine. I think we're definitely moving towards four and five of a kind at this point. Getting out of pair. I think I will make some diamonds. Just because it does seem like we're moving towards eight of diamonds. Oh. Although we are going to get hit by the boss at some point playing this way. But that's okay. I'm sure we can navigate around that. Where's that other seven? How dare you? Oh, I should play this. Nice. This is going to be a big hand. Oh, we even get the flush fly planet. That's Pog. We got one tarot card and my glass exploded? Goodness gracious. Well, at least it wasn't not an eight of diamonds that got exploded. It's not that easy for us to get flush five right now, but I think it will get easier. Uh, we can open Eris, I guess. Sure, Planet X also fine. That's good, actually. In fact, I think it's so good that I might try and find more. That's good. I still have dreams about strengthening this eight, which might be too ambitious. Four of a kind is fine. Like it's not that easy for us to get flush five right now. It's just what we're working towards. How many sixes do I have left? Two. I'll take the Emperor, I think. It has more cards that I want in it. At some point I have to start re-rolling for tarot, but I don't think that time is now. Single six. I only have two left, right? Oh, I only have one left? Perfect. Oh, that was even a decent hand. Wow, that's a good hit. 
Uh, I might have to sell some stuff though. Because I don't really want to hit Abstract Joker or Space Joker or Six Sense. I can sell this actually. Do I want Space Joker? I think that was worth it. Very tiny hand size. Hmm, that was actually kind of close. So I'm going to need to spend some money here, I think. It's a good eight. Oh, was that hollow eight of diamonds? Wow, that's like... Kind of a dream hit, actually. How much malt is this? 43. We Joker. I have that many twos. Banana's good. Ride the bus. That seems fine. Oh, I lost my ability to death, actually. That was a big error. Oopsie. Alright, I'll just take the... Take the malt for fortune teller. That was very bad. That might be run-endingly bad, actually. I, mean, I don't mind that ace breaking, but we're in trouble. Pair is not bad. We might just barely be okay. Whoopsie. Wrong run. Alright, last try. I really thought... I think that's a good demonstration of how crippling hand size can be. Really? <laughs> Just get out of there. Okie dokie. Banana's a good start. Alright. Interesting. Constellation feels very safe. And we'll even take Jolly Joker. Just to make sure. Yeah, we'll take this too. Why not? We know we're going to buy it. Might as well buy it now. That was actually not that many points. But this joker doesn't do anything currently. 
two, three, five, eight, or oh, ace. I have a couple of those cards. Let's see what this has in it. Hmm. Card time. Could be a high card deck. Ooh, two pair. I think we'll take pants. Pants is pretty good early. I think this is worth it. Give us a chance to pop up the pants. We're only going to get one hand out of all these for a little bit. That's okay, as long as we get two pants up. I mean, I have to take all the... All the planets. I actually don't know what's better in that spot when I'm just trying to... When I'm just trying to find two pair and I don't hit it. But I think the hand I already buffed makes sense to me at least. Sock and a skin. Doesn't do that much now. Might do something later. I think it's potential to do something later is high enough that I'm happy to take it. base cards. It's not like mime. I get that confused a decent amount of the time. Let's take the money. Take the free reroll. I'll hold on to Chaos the Clown, I think. Hmm. It was just a straight, actually. I didn't even realize. I just wanted to increment my pants. No luck. I don't know how good it actually is, but I feel like early constellation makes my life so easy, which is very nice. Oops, forgot to reroll. Oh, that was bad. Didn't get punished. But that was bad. I have dreams of maybe seeing another sock and buskin or something. Doing something silly. Guess I should open this. Don't think that is what I want. Mm. Kind of need banana to live for. A decent amount of time while the while the pants get bigger, but I don't think I want to play two pair forever, but I think I'll be playing it for a while. The nice thing about pants
chance is that it only increments on two pair, but it gives you the malt forever for any hand, which is real nice. Money. That's so many Plutos. Guess we'll take a Pluto. I kind of feel like we got a bit of everything going on right now, which is not the best, but it's good enough for now. It's actually, I forget how strong this constellation is actually. Oh my goodness. I don't think we want extra banana. I want an extra sock and buskin, I think. If anything, but it is funny to have two bananas. Could go for shoot the moon, but I think there's other stuff out there for us. So I wouldn't mind the banana getting destroyed eventually. Oh, eight ball again. I don't think so. We have sock and buskin. I don't think this is an eight ball run. I should have opened the pack. Huh. Alright, whatever. Should have maybe just played five random cards and seen if there were two pair, but whatever. Doesn't really matter what planet I'm taking. Just taking planets. I don't think I want Vagabond. Actually, I can't because I need all the money. Not really in trouble. So, no need to do anything other than play hands. Oh, okay. 16 molt on the pants and then the banana died. Probably going to need more. Ooh. That's so cool. I don't think... I don't think it's where I want to be, but that's a really cool joker. Hmm. I think I've already hit the spade boss. Just kind of use this to use it, I think. Doesn't seem that relevant. Should take a joker. I think I'll just take mail and rebate. Extra money. See how hard this round is. It's unfortunately a pair too, but greed. Huh. Okay, that's fine. Alright, that's enough, but definitely lost a lot of power. And we still need to kind of get our pants to a point where they're extremely OP. Not in love with any of these, really. But we do need the malt. I think rebate. That seems good enough. Holographic baseball card. I mean, still two pair. Just play it, I think. Oh, that's so annoying. Genuine mouse slip. Alright, this should be good enough. There we go. More than good enough, actually. So I think baseball card's gonna get us close to the end of this challenge. It's 
still need something to do with Sock and Buskin. Don't think Lucky Ace is where it's at. Like, I need a face card worth building my deck around, right? Definitely going to be two pairing for a while, though, at this rate. Which is fine, because I need the pants to go up, but... Mm. That was pretty good. We are scaling every... round as well. With Constellation. Oh, Showman. I was like, how did I get another full? I can make some spades or take a planet, basically. I guess I'll take the planet. Seems fine. I think for now we are still leveling up two pair. I don't know if this matters. Like positioning of these cards. Did I throw a six away? Why did I throw a six away? High God's actually pretty good. Doesn't increment the pants though, which is bad. I don't really have anything for hanging Chad to trigger off. Maybe lucky cards, but. I think this hangman is worth copying actually. I have something I can copy. Not really. Blue Seal's pretty good. I'm a little concerned about the trajectory. But I think we're okay. Ah, oh, that's fine. I can only play two pair. It might be not that easy, but all right, doesn't matter. I guess actually I saw it. I saw I, I saw us get a hand of seventy five thousand or more pretty early on. So twenty something thousand, nothing to worry about. I think I'd honestly forgotten how strong we were. That's a lot of Jupiter. Good on this ante. Pants go up. 26 mol on the pants, that's respectable. Mm. Next ante might need to do more stuff, but again, we are consistently scaling with the constellation. Should have opened the pack. Dupe is also a weird hand to try and fix your deck for because you need like half your deck to be one card and half your deck to be another card in an ideal world. There we go. All right, I think I can sell this Sherman by this Sock and Buskin. Oh, we're cooking something here. Maybe make lucky queens? Maybe that's what we can build our deck around? That's frustrating. I mean, I think making this two is better than anything else, but not exciting. I think rolling a little bit just to find some planet cards is good. Just because I want to make sure we're incrementing Constellation, I think at least once a shop. I think we're going to be good to the end of this normal rounds. I don't know how we're going to do an endless telescope. We have two pairs on my split hand, right? Yeah, by a lot. I think telescope is good. I 
do want to open these. I need a base card to build Sock and Buskin around. Although I have these... I have these queens and stuff. I don't think Golden Jacks is where we want to be. DNA. Hmm. This might be a risk, but I am willing to see what happens here. Not skipping. I think triggering my cards is too valuable. Okay, so here is where I'm at. I think I either go in on Lucky Queens and try and make my deck all Queens. Or we commit to these jacks and try and make lots of steel cards. But I'd rather copy the card I want to have in my hand or the card I want to play. I think. Right now. We don't have a strong enough face card that Sock and Buskin is like really popping. So I think for now I'll copy the steel card whenever I can. Okay, that was a decent score. Didn't win, but I'm actually just gonna play this two pair. I don't really care about the steel card. Now this definitely lost us a lot of power. So we're going to have to work the constellation kind of over time. Polychrome 5. I mean, that's not a face card. Ace of Diamonds does seem worth it. Skip the other one, though. I think we have to swap over to Floor of a Kind, because I think we're going to be moving towards that. Definitely not going to have DNA forever, but I think it's better for our future chances, if that makes sense. I mean, that high card is doing a decent amount of work right now. I should find two pair. might give us a buffed Pluto. I'm glad it didn't. I know I said I was moving towards four of a kind, but still got to get there. Although again, I do want to make not steel jacks at some point because I can't play. Excuse me. I can't play steel jacks. Well, kind of defeats the purpose. That's a queen, that's good. Hmm. I'm actually not a big fan of discarding that jack. Because <laughs> I might have wanted to use it. Make this ace. Sure. Hopefully this wins. Nice. I think what we have is good. It's just going to take a while to get where we need it to be because we got this DNA so late. So I think we're going to clear the challenge, but I'm definitely worried about Endless. Which is a shame because I think of all the challenges, this is the one that has generally the most exciting Endless prospects. Because you have so much money. I 
have to sell a joke. Okay, well, that's fine. We can sell this DNA. I'm going to look for blue seal. No luck. All right, well, we can clearly finish the last anti. So anti-8 should be a wrap. Trying to make face cards. Trying to make queens, I guess? We have a lot of jacks, too. I think we'll actually just strength these. Oh, there's more. I could have saved the strength, maybe. Might have been a very bad use of my tarot card, especially with this opening as well. Yeah, I instantly regret my decision. But it's okay. We get rewarded with a lucky queen. Oh, you all know how I feel about To the Moon. It's so good. Uh, I can't take it yet. I have to sell a Joker soon. All right, I'm going to make a lucky queen now. Because this is the card I think I actually want. Could have looked for blue seal, should have. Definitely a bit of a mistake. But we're going to sell this DNA after... Yeah, we're going to sell this DNA. Oh, should have maybe... Actually, it's fine. I think I'm more likely to want two pair than straight, actually. Cavendish. Again, don't really know why I'm rolling when I know I have to sell a Joker. That means DNA is not getting used anymore. I could sell an extra sock and buskin. I can probably win without it. Let's see how good this is. Okay, we can definitely win without it. Guess that's just the plan then? Should have kept a jack. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, this is fine. Alright. Alright, well we beat the challenge. This run has some potential, but I don't think I've navigated well enough to get there. I'm kind of curious to see kind of how naturally good it is. Well, Ida would be really good eventually. We have to fix a lot of our deck for Idle to be good. I think we can hold off. But Idle is the kind of thing we want to work towards. All right, that is a card. Worth copying many, many times. I'll take these. Feel like now we're in business. And then also I should probably roll a decent amount. Just for a consolation. That's needed. Well, should stop here. I need that queen. Uh, okay, I need it. Single best card I can find. Didn't find it. That's okay. It's gonna be hard to find, but four of a kind. Sure, why not? Lucky cards. Double sock and buskin retrigger. Nice. And then once I start. I don't know how many copies I need to make to be satisfied, but eventually I'm going to have to get out of there. Should have also maybe played two pair. Still pumping up the pants. I 
mean, sure. Not that exciting. Maybe a lucky cat in our future. Foil egg, big pug. Polychrome four fingers. Nice. Trading card. Takes a while to get trading card going. I think I will. Like, I know I really want to copy that polychrome queen, but I think there are other ways to do it. And I actually think I need to start fixing my deck now. Then adding to it. Like, we have enough queens to play around. We even have, like, one specific card we're trying to build around. So I think we can start chopping cards. And then do want to play two pair every time we can. Because need to increment the pants. Honestly, I don't even mind that. We'll get our Uranus here. Get an extra pant incrementation. It's okay to take. Take an L. Also, we're not scoring that much though. Which is a bit scary. Especially given that we just took this trading card for a pretty long-term game plan. I also would love to see more Mars. Or five of a kind, but can't always get what you want. Need a death pretty badly, and I think we do need the malt for constellations, so I'll probably be rolling down a decent amount here. I think I want to roll until I see a death. And the planets are good, obviously. What's our chips at? 260. So we can roll down quite a bit. Still have enough. Nice. I think I could sell Cavendish for. Oh my god, we found it immediately. That's incredible. <laughs> I know it's already glass, but I think we do want to destroy it. It could have destroyed itself, but it's not likely. Well, oh, this is not going to trigger uh, the ox, which is good because we need our money desperately. That's the that's the good stuff. This double sock and buskin finally paying off. Well, that's good. We can find antimatter as long as we live. Living is definitely the hardest thing right now. Uh, I would take four or five of a kind. If I've unlocked five, I don't remember if I have this run. Instead, keep hitting. Oh, we have telescope, don't we? Uh, interesting. It's going to take a while to play enough four of a kind. Unlucky. Want another death. Ooh. I think we have to stop now. Free rolls are a bit too expensive. Nice. Let's look for five of here so we can unlock it. Still not five of. Oh no, it is. I can't count. Whatever. I think this is enough. Nice. Not enough. Wow, really not enough. That's terrifying. I guess we should play two pair. Whoops. Two pair of four of a kind. High card's also pretty good. Okay, we should be fine. I think I'm just going to accept that I don't get the blue seal. And upgrade the pants. Because the pants are our only flat malt. Starting to run into problems, I think. 
There's five of. But it's going to take a while to scale that. Get rid of reversed order in case of the fool. Not punished. It's fine. Don't care about any of these. Just use it in case we hit tarot. Fortune teller. I think one steel card is better than one more queen. I think. Looking for death still. Now that we have a fool, I think we do want to go for death. Also, we need the malt. By the looks of things. I'll spin the wheel. Can't go too far. Yeah, we actually have to stop, I think. Because we're at 340 now, which is our chip max. Now I'll just play two pair for us. It's two. Get it out of the way. Oh, well, we're in danger. Unless we find the polychrome queen. Okay, well, we found the polychrome qu queens. Good work, everyone. Bye, above. Looks pretty good. Yeah, the polychrome retriggers are actually too good. All right, nice. So we, you can see what our plan is. I need to find that queen, but we got to really thin this deck out. Photograph. I think photograph is really good. Might have to take it, which is sad times for my... Sad times for my dreams. Queen of Spades. Interesting. I think a trading card is out of here. Don't actually know if it matters really where photograph goes. Just roll bonds for planets. Don't want to spend too much money though, because we are getting pretty close to our ship cap. We'll play these. Kind of have to find the polychrome queens. Oh. Oh, Photograph! Never mind. Photograph actually made a huge difference to our score. That's a good find. Welcome to Earth. Spectral pack. I mean, old seal's nice and all. I don't want to add cards to my deck. I have way too many already. Blueprints. I mean, that has to be better than something, but better than what? Are we just off trousers now? The base malt kind of sucks. Photograph triple sock and buskin is like times six. I still think we need this. I actually just don't think we can take Blueprint. That's savage. If we had like... Yeah, we'd need like... We need a space, I think, is the problem. Because I think everything we have now is contributing too much to our score. That was not enough. I guess it is 7 million. That's quite a lot. That's terrifying, though. I 
This is legit just for the malt. Although a photograph is doing a decent amount of work. Yeah, if we'd taken out a flat malt, we would have been absolutely doomed, I think. How many queens left? Five? Risking it. Kind of risking it for the malt, honestly. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I think two pair is better than three of a kind? In fact, I'm very confident that's true. Okay, barely made it. We're in trouble. <laughs> We're in a lot of trouble when we can't find the polychrome queens. Need death. Actually, I think I should have maybe taken... Well, it doesn't matter. We're basically playing two pair or... Five of a kind. So... I don't think it matters. Definitely want to keep incrementing Constellation. Two pants. Uh, two pants? Two pair pants just ran out of steam, I think. I need a death. And maybe a justice. Polychrome Lucky Cat. I mean, that's very cool, but... Gotta stop soon. One more? Oof. I think we're doomed. Should have played that 10. 2000. Okay. Not great. This doesn't feel like it's going to be enough, but we should play it and see. That's not even close to enough. We have eight queens left. We basically need all the polychrome ones to win. Off we go. Yeah, I don't think the blue seal is going to save us. I mean, that's not even enough. Yikes. Three of a kind is better than full house right now, right? Yep. <sighs> All right. The fun is over. Sad. GG. All right, well, we did the challenge. That was interesting. Kind of felt like I just needed to wait and hit like a normal Bellatro run. <laughs> like you just start with a bunch of money and the restriction never felt like it really came up. Granted, I was floating a lot of cash, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm too used to hoarding money. It didn't feel that hard, but uh, that was definitely the most straightforward of the challenges. I feel like I felt like I played normal Bellatro for most of this video. Whereas the other two challenges, I feel like I actually had to think about what to change to adjust to the challenge restrictions. Anyway, it was fun. I didn't know there were 20 of these. I thought there were only 10. So excited to keep working through these. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, you're still here, like, comment, and or subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. And as always, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.